Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's in Sangrilla as usual. Where we last left off, Asta left with Lucy and Melionis. So now we're gonna skip three years. Asta's twelve, Lucy is three. As well. He continue he actually trains with Melionis. Or Melona. As he has met Philogalion and Leopold a few times, along with Lucy. Leopold gets on decently well with Lucy, considering he is a year older than her. He has to have a good reputation with his brother. Well, I think they're brothers and sisters. And hopefully Goleon and Melaleonis are twins in the anime, regardless of their uh, unique differences. Anyway, they, well, meet up every now and again, and one of the trips where Oster and, well, Lucy with Melionis go to the capital, they head towards the Colosseum to see new magic knights get accepted. As well, Oster grabs the scent of familiars. The scent of two equals paired to each other and Sneaks off without Lucy, because he left Lucy with Meliona. To find two men, one with red hair, with blue trousers with fiery flames at the bottom of them. And another with long black hair, with brown shorts and with spikes at the bottom. With shoe, well, with tra long boots up to the kneecaps with metal pimples on his arms and his face. As these two discuss the magic knights that they've seen. As one of them says, Oh, come on, Metallica. You can't keep holding back on your student. As he... Gets called by Meliona as he quickly runs off. Well, looks at Meliona, then back to see that the two men have disappeared. As he, well, grab hold, grabs hold of Lucy ha Lucy's hand, pretend younger Natsu is Lucy, just for this part. As he holds her hand, as she says, where are we going? As he, well, in the end just picks her up and says, We're going to see people be selected for positions. And she just says, Oh. Okay then. Lucy not really understanding that they're going to see the Magic Knights ceremony. As they continue walking, Oster still can pick up the strange, what well, the familiar smells, or well, scents, scents, of these particular individuals. As he turns around thinking that he heard someone call his name, with Lucy asking, why did we stop? With Mel the owner, also picking up on this as she turns around, saying, Asta, come on. Come on, Asta. What's wrong with him? As she just walks up and pats him on the back of the head, saying, well, as he sort of turns around and in a bit of a agitated way, as he simmers down, saying, oh, it's just you. Mel the owner. Sorry, I 
guess I'm just a bit jumpy for some odd reason. And she just says, yeah. Why are you jumpy today? You weren't like this a few hours ago. As he just says, uh, just nerves, I guess. I'm going into the magic night ceremony with my sister. It's gonna get, it's gonna get rough and violent, and I don't want my sister being exposed to it at such a young age. You know, being a responsible brother and all. And she understands, saying, violence is just violence. A girl her age will quickly forget. As they move on with Asta just whispering to himself, saying, I hope you're right. As well, they enter the stands, seeing two other children there. Both aged the same as Oster, 12. As they watch the match, a fireball goes out of control. As a, well, magic knight contender says, magic shot. As it goes barreling towards the two girls. Oster tries to jump in the way, but Lucy ends up firing a water blast or a water bullet at the fireball, dousing it. As this grabs everybody's attention, as Lucy used magic without having a grimoire, and it was quite strong of a technique. As Oster says, just acts in astonishment, knowing who his sister really is, saying that was amazing. Well done, little sis. As they go really on, sort of claps, saying, Wow, that was really good. Even, I think it's his brother or not. I'm just going to say that he is. As he just says, My pipsqueak little, ah, pipsqueak little brother can't do, can't even conjure a flame, let alone a fireball of that magnitude. But, he also isn't a water user, or a water mage, so, yeah, he wouldn't be able to stop that if he tried. As Liam Polk just says, oh, shut up, big brother, as he sort of gets clouted around the head by Flegolion and Melaleona at the same time. As he just shouts, okay, sorry, I won't do that again. As well, none of the other captains put their hands up apart from Yami. As Fregolion sort of cusses to himself, saying, Great. Yami gets a fire user. A dangerous one at that. As Oster just corrects him, saying, Yarn, that Yami fella may just actually pick him because he could see who he could be in the future and not someone who's dangerous but someone who could be a friend, a mentor and a good partner to rely on. So think of it as this uncle. He's not, as I said, he's not choosing them for how dangerous they are. He's choosing them because he sees potential. As Fregolion and, well, Fregolion, Leopold and Meliona all just nod in a silent agreement, along with the other captains who can actually hear him. And sorry if I'm talking a bit low. As the Magic Knights ceremony goes to an end, as Leopold talks to Melaleona and, well, trying to see if he can get be trained by her, Leopold gets told by Phlegolion that he's not getting trained by his sister. He's getting trained by him. 
and prepare for hell. As Oster just picks up the familiar scent again, but this time Lucy can pick up on it. And she sniffs the air as well, along with Oster. But they put it off, going, well, to a time where Lucy is six and Oster is four, no, yeah, 14, no, yeah, 14. As they walk through the streets, they do not realise that there is a familiar girl following them. As well, after the years that they have been apart, they didn't really catch her name, but she followed them. AKA, the one, the girl you can see now is Noelle Sylvia. She was actually in the same neighbourhood as Oster and Lucy, so she decides to follow them. As, well, Oster could pick up, along with Lucy, as they got closer to two familiar faces of his that he can remember, as they all can smell the air, along with Lucy. As Oster whispers in her ears, saying, I'll put you down somewhere. Then when she approaches, trying to get you out, you say it, okay? As Lucy whispers, saying, Why is she running? Why is she trying to run away when she's like us? As Oster just smiles, saying, You got it, little sis. As well, they hear, Well, isn't it, isn't, well, it isn't the little pipsqueak. Some time since I've seen you. And who's this? As he well gets cut off by saying that's his little sister. Metallica. And you should show a bit more respect. Or do you want me to kick your ass like I did all those years ago? That was five hundred years ago. We're lucky that that mage found us and teleported us to the future. To the fi to 500 years in the future. This, well, Master just walks up to Metallica and this guy with red hair. As he says, Uncle Metallica, Metallica it's good to see you again. Just to let you know, I can kick your ass just as well. As he just laughs, saying, calm down, pipsqueak. We need to test you first to see if you can kick my ass. But not here. As they, well, go into a heavily dense forest. Followed by, you know, Noel. Trust me, it will make a lot more sense. Because she's had a funny feeling about Oster and Lucy, as if their power is like hers. And she sort of continues walking. She sees all three of them stop, Oster putting down Lucy, then walking forwards. As he sort of, like, fire starts to form around it, well, form around two of them, as a metal dust storm clouds the other, as all three of them turn into dragons. Oster being his first time doesn't really nail down the form very well, but since Metallica was there, with when he realizes that someone's there, he says. Silently to Oster, saying, Are you sure this is going to work? And Oster just says, Yeah, I need to find a halfway form. 
I'm gonna have to try and train to get that far. Lucy's got another few years to develop her magic and to develop her true form. So this is a test for me. All dragons get their form, their beginner forms when they're 14 anyway. You should know Metallica. As, well, he says, Dad. Then says, Dad, do, I ha do we have to try and keep our existence hidden away from the humans? As Igneo says, yes, we should. And yes, it was Igneo, for those of you who have already guessed. Congratulations. As he just says, yes, Oster. We do need to keep ourselves hidden, as we all know, humans tried to kill us. This also just says, but what if the humans weren't trying to kill us? What if it was some external force controlling the humans? This also, and Igneal, along with Metallica, start talking about it. The rustling in the bushes sort of gives it away that there's someone there. As they all pretend not to see her, as she sort of rushes, rustles around the bushes, going for Lucy. As Metallica sort of flies off, followed soon after by Igneo after Mechalica pretends to insult him as Igneo also picks up on this fake insult as he goes along with it and flies off after him as Oster sort of stays in the form he is in now and walks over to Lucy as Lucy well sort of chuckles and says you look ridiculous as Noel quickly grabs her and says come on Lucy I know you're well let's say this she grabs Noel grabs Lucy not knowing who she is and she sort of runs as Lucy says miss I believe you may have been mistaken for who we are or for what he is. As Noel says, just says, look, I do not know what's happening. Dragons are all extinct. And all this and that and the other. And just like so let, let you all know, Noel doesn't know this about herself yet. It's coming up very quickly. As, well, she continues running, she, well, then feels a bit of a weight coming over her body. As she looks down to see Lucy sort of grabbing scales and growing a few small claws and sharp teeth, and she quickly puts it down. As Lucy just then stands up, pats herself down, and says, why are you running? As Lucy continues to, to explain, as she makes a small mirror, saying, you're one of us. As Noelle actually looks into this sort of reflection, seeing a girl with bluer hair than hers, holding well, holding herself hot tall with wings, a tail, and two horns. As she well looks like she is in a bit of a transformation. Is Lucy then explains, saying, You're like us. You're part dragon. 
There will come a time in your life, Miss Sylvia, where you will have to pick who you want to be. A human? A half-breed human? Or a full dragon? It is all up to you. Like my brother, who chose to be a full dragon. Doesn't mean he can't turn from human to dragon. He can turn from a dragon back into a human at will once he learns once he learns how to do it. Miss Noel is sort of freaked out, hearing that she is also part dragon. And she sort of mutters to herself saying but why? Why am I half dragon? I I feel fine. As Lucy oh, goes back to normal and passes out. As well. Yeah, two figures burst out of the tree line, saying, Asta, Lucy, where are you? Because it turns out Flegolion and Melaliona were in the square having a little bit of a chat in the village nearby as well three figures come out from the sky as they sort of crash down and I'm just going to use Igneal portrait for all three of them because screw it as he just says well well now Looks like we can't keep ourselves hidden now. Damn, I was hoping to keep you royals out of this. As they are in amazement, they see a full flesh and blood, well, one flesh and blood dragon right in front of them. As they sort of ask, well, see, Oster, as he says, Ost, as, well, Melodiona says, Oster, do you know? What this means as Oster just stands there in silence as Merlion says the dragons weren't extinct they were in they were hiding this is brilliant I've always wanted to meet a dragon I heard they were majestic creatures always so friendly as as she continues to look at Oster as he well sort of turns into a full-blooded dragon himself. And she is, well, both her and Flegolion are both in horror. Well, not in the scared kind of way, in the confused way. As Melody Hernese just simply says, but how? Three years and you, and you kept this hidden? Was it for a purpose or... Were you just scared of showing it? As Oster just says, I wasn't actually old enough to even go into this form yet. All dragons, when they hit the, their middle years of their life, well, teenage years in your tongue, this is when we grab our, fir our first forms. As Oster says, just continue saying, and plus, you're also talking to the Fire King himself, Igneal. As Noel, well, not well, as Noel, Sylvia, and Meliana of Flegolion all get on their knees, well, well, take a knee and bow down to the King of all Dragons. As Igneal just so there's no need to bow as he well, transforms into a human form with the dragon ears and that as he says you looked after my son and daughter for quite some time and this I cannot thank you enough of 
I'll leave them in your care. But be careful. Do not let anybody else know that, he, that those two, these two are dragons. Or should I say, these three? As he looks over to Noel, as he says, make sure nobody finds out that there are three dragons here. And Oster, keep an eye out for your now step brother. As Oster gets confused and saying step brother, as Igno just says yes, he should be pretty easy to spot. He's also he's got purple, well, pink hair just like you, and he is a bit of a loud mouth. I sort of just up and left him because I, well, picked up on your scent. But when I picked up on your scent, I found Metallica instead, as he, as Metallica crashes down to the floor, as he just says, yeah, well, I thought I could pick up your scent, but it turns out I was following your son and daughter, old, fr old friend. And just to let you, and well, actually, that's where I'm ending it, guys. And just to let you all now know, it, the way Igneal and Metallica got there was through the same wizard. He, and well, she, if you actually remember the Hartfelia family, this is, um, Lucy's great 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 ancestor four hundred years ago and past in fairy tale. She's actually the woman who transported Oster, Lucy, Igneal and Metallica to the future. I'm sort of using fairy tale lore due to me putting fairy tale characters in the Black Clover universe. So, yeah. But the reason why Igneal has now got Natsu is because they have picked their well, quote unquote sons. Even though Igneal has a son and daughter, he does not get. Well, Austin knows who his mother is. But Lucy has no idea whatsoever Oster hasn't even told her who her mother is. And he plans, to, well I'm planning to try and keep it like that until we're further along. But anyway guys, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And peace.